What I would like to um, point out is the um, product called glucosamine. So that's an ingredient, glucosamine. So glucosamine is kind of the, 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 the goo in the joints that keeps them um, supple. Um, glucosamine is something I would definitely take. And then I have, I love taking doTERRA's deep blue, which I'm sure you have too, because I think you do doTERRA. That's a really nice one that helps also when you've been exercising a lot, it helps you regenerate quicker. Um, you definitely need to look into healthy oils like omega-3 oils. They're also important for your brain. Um, and then the nutrition part is what I'd like to sort of get to now. So in nutrition wise, you want to make sure what is joint pain in your joints that can have many different reasons. And because I'm not an MD, I would like to answer the parts that I can answer really as an expert and leave um, your particular case to an MD because that's going to serve, I think, the community also mm -hmm. more if I get that answer. Mm -hmm. So nutrition wise, you want to see pain in the joints, if we put it, make it really, really simple, is that there's some form of inflammation going on inside of your body. Mm -hmm. And that is affecting, in your case, the joints. In other cases, it might be the brain. In other cases, it might be, I don't know, your heart. But it's inflammation that we're dealing with. And if we look at inflammation and nutrition, we know that the more processed our foods are, the more high in sugar they are, the more additives our food has, the more dairy we eat, the more gluten we eat, um, the more um, inflammation our bodies can respond to. That's not, it's not the case for everybody, obviously, but you can definitely say that eating a diet high in gluten, which is the sticky, um, protein in wheat and high in sugar and high in processed foods is definitely going to create um, a, a fertile ground for the inflammation. So I would suggest for sure that you do a food sensitivity test. Find yourself an Omega Health Coach and do the food sensitivity test that we have in there so that you find out what are the foods that your body is sensitive to. And definitely take those out just to get your body to recover and to go into healing mode. So you don't want to stress the body out by giving it foods that it doesn't like if you want it to actually get rid of inflammation. Later on, you can work on getting your body to become more resistant so that you can, again, tolerate forms of gluten and any foods that you might be now creating, you know, an adverse reaction to.